Okay guys, um, this is American Dead 1, otherwise known as March 12314 on a, a primary channel on YouTube. Uh, this is one of my alterna uh, alternative accounts. Um, today I'm just making a video in reply to Ramen Noodle, who is uh, having some trouble um, getting the uh, unzip and ready to go um, option of Koro 2 um, up and running. Um, so basically, it's a pretty simple process. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to go ahead and just scroll down and find this link right here. Edit, uh, open colon, 2019, close, closing colon, uh, closing parenthesis, my, my, my apologies, unzip and you're ready to go. And you should have this right here. So just go ahead and download it. Um, if you're really afraid about viruses, then um, really you're on the same boat as me because I literally have that same file on my computer and I've ran it many times, so the joke's on me. So basically once you uh, actually have that, um, you have this folder right here. Um, I like to extract it with 7-zip uh, if you don't know what 7-zip is. Um, you can always Google it. It's, a search, uh, it's the first option that pops up. When you go ahead and search it up, uh, go ahead and select your proper architecture, whether you're in 32-bit or 64-bit. Um, you can never really go wrong with 32-bit, honestly. Um, but of course, if you are on 64-bit, may as well just go for that too. So let's go ahead and close that. So, with that downloaded, just go ahead and extract it with 7-zip and hit to and hit extract to swcodar2 backslash, and you should get presented with this folder right here. Just go ahead and keep going. And now you have the game itself. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to make sure that the game is running in a window because for some reason the game does not like to play in full screen. Um, I have no idea why. Um, you can try it yourself and see if it works just fine. On my end, however, it does not work. Um, simply does not work. It just keeps looping the same two cutscenes. The LucasArts and the Obsidian intro and just kind of like blacking in and out uh, between the main menu and shit like that. So in order to fix that, uh, I followed GameFAQs as a guide right here, which is to enter the xwcodar2.ini uh, file, uh, adding allow windowed mode one equals one under the graphics options section, and then changing full screen one to full screen zero. So full screen zero should be right here in the very top. You want to change that to zero. Usually it's one, but you want to change that to zero. Then under graphics options, you want to add you want to add this line right here. So you want to add allow windowed mode equals one. Not not minus one, but equals one. Just go ahead and save that. No need to make it read only. And then you go ahead and just run SW Coder 2. You can run the launcher if you want to, but uh, running the uh, game, base game is fine. Hmm. Interesting. Full screen zero. I think I might have typed it wrong. This is uh, under swcodar2.ini. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and save it. Save it. Make sure full screen equals zero. Then just run the game.
I guess you just run the launcher, launcher instead, don't run the game directly. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know why I launched the game full screen. Weird. So just run the launcher instead. My mistake. And there you go. Now you get the game ready, set to go. Uh, now, as I mentioned in the video before, um, what you may want to do is you may want to go ahead and go to the uh, graphics options, go to the advanced options, and you want to disable frame buffer effects so that way the game doesn't freeze. Um, I'll show you right now that the game works just fine with that off. So just go ahead and collect, uh, just take this guy. Name doesn't matter, just go ahead and play. Cutscenes work, work just fine. Go and just skip forward a little bit. See the prologue. General entry added. Hey. Think uh, change the journal, right? Yep. Don't think I have anything else to my name, do I? Just a droid shock arm. Okay. Go ahead and uh, slice the system if we can. Go ahead and grab one from this Blasto Centro. Log out. Alright, good to go. Anyway, you get the general gist of it. So let's go ahead and exit the game. Now, let's go ahead and turn on frame buffer effects on. Is it okay? Close. New game. Let's take this character. Quick character. Portrait. Name. Play. And the game crashes. So, just make sure you keep that in mind when you do play this game. Uh, make sure you set it to windowed, as I said before, full screen zero, or as the uh, wiki says here. I'll be sure to include this in the, uh, in the, in the description of the video. So, um, full screen zero, and add a line under graphics options that reads allow windowed mode equals zero. Okay, that's all you need to do to make the game windowed. I know some of you may not like that, but that's just the way the game will run. That's just one way the game will run, just properly. And uh, when you do run the game, run the launcher. I don't think uh, running the actual base executable is going to make it work prop. Oh no, it worked properly this time. Hey. Interesting. I don't know why I didn't do it the first time. So I guess you can just click either or the launcher or the um, base game executable. But anyway. So yeah, that's uh that's all you need to do to get the um the portable copy or the unzip and just start playing a copy of a uh, SW Code R2 working. Uh so if you have any more questions, just leave a comment and I'll be sure to get right back to you. So thank you for watching and as always, uh Ramen Noodle. Hopefully that helped. And if it didn't, uh I'll be happy to answer more questions. So until next time.